Hello everyone, welcome to PC Tech Help. This is Cyber Sorcerer, and this is just a follow-up uh, video on Aptana uh, Studio. For those of you that have took the uh, Ajax introduction course over on Cartoon Smart, for those of you that are new to uh, PC Tech Help and don't know that, you just go to cartoonsmart.com slash ajax underscore basics dot html and this is uh, about a th two and a half three hour video on um, ajax like i said it's a basic uh, introduction it'll get you up on ajax real quick but uh... it uses the aptana studio interface right here and at the time it was a professional version which was uh, you had to purchase it but now the version 2.0 has gone open source and there's been a lot of changes and additions to it like the connections tab over here in the file window and they've put up a few of the tabs up here together in, in the file menu but we're not going to get into that right now we're just going to get into php because in the other version php was installed by default and in this one most uh everything is a plug-in it comes with a basically a, a stock install of the studio and everything else that you want to add to it is a plug-in such as uh, rails python php and um, there's a video section over here. Uh, it goes three three videos, but if, if you click on any of those links, it'll take you over to their uh, Vimo page. And you can see that there's videos here to integrate XAMPP and WinAMP, uh, which I have both of those installed, and I use both of them. But um, there's some introductory videos here that'll go over a few things. But there's also a few things that aren't included in there that people have been having problems with and I don't know this is the first release I think I think it's up to 2.0.2 .2. so they're still working out some bugs in it and one of them is the code completion uh, for those of you that are familiar with that in the old version uh, it's not happening in the uh, 2.0 version here with uh, functions and one of the workarounds um, to doing that is going to your Windows preferences and go to your editors and open up your editors and once you've installed PHP you'll see a PHP editor here uh, I haven't installed it yet so it's not in here but in the editors you can go over here click on advanced and down here you have code assist and right now it's set at 200 milliseconds uh, some people have set that to 50 milliseconds and uh, there's also a setting once the PHP tab gets in editor gets in here you can go in there and look for co the code assist in there and change that also but uh, that's one problem. That's one problem that's been found with it so far, and there's a few other ones also. I took a look on the uh, community forums at Aptana and stuff. So there's still some bugs uh, to be had in it. So for those of you that are watching the video that haven't upgraded to the 2.0 version yet, you might want to uh, keep your 1.5 version if it's, everything's working and everything, because there's uh, apparently still working out some issues in this version. But anyway. If you get, for those of you that already have this one and want to get started, you can get in PHP install by going to Help and Install Aptana Features. And by the way, this is how you would install all the Ajax frameworks and stuff like that. Like right here, you click on Ajax frameworks. You see that there's the Microsoft ASP.NET Ajax controls. Um, I'll probably be doing a video on that here at PC Tech Help since I'm going to be doing a lot of videos here on... Uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and we'll be covering C Sharp, Visual Basic, .NET and uh, uh, manage C++ uh, code off of it. So we'll break, bring that in and I'll show some stuff on that when we get into ASP.NET. But you can also add uh, Rails, Ruby Rails, you can add Python and uh, right there is your PHP development tools, PDT. You just click on, click on that and click on install down here. As I've already seen your Ajax, I mean uh, not Ajax, uh, Adobe Air was already one of the ones that was installed about right here and I had already in installed that so that's why you don't see that so for those of you that want Air it's also installed here but that's all you got to do basically it's just like the other one you click on the plugin that you want it'll highlight the install button click on install and everything will be going and then uh, you got your plugin manager right here so you can see all your plugins and uh, like I said the first and other enough interest in this um, and then if enough people upgrade to it, then I'll do a video on it. Basically, I only use the Aptana for my Ajax development because my PHP development and all that stuff I mostly do in Dreamweaver. So um, I really don't do PHP development in here. But 
I guess if there's enough interest in it and um, all that, we'll go ahead and do it. I, I won't be doing Ajax videos here on um, PC Tech Help on the YouTube because this is mostly this whole channel here is mostly going to be geared to reverse engineering and actual programming in uh, high level and low level languages such as C Sharp, C++, C, Python, and um, well, what else have I missed anything? Uh, pretty much it. Oh, and Ruby. Uh, basically, it's going to be all the stuff that's involved in security research and reverse engineering. So, But this here was just a free video to show those of the people that did the Ajax course over at Cartoon Smart uh, how to get going. And like I said, there might be some other issues. Um, you might have to go to the Aptana community web forums because uh, there are a few other issues like uh, the code complete that I told you about. But uh hope you enjoy it. Uh if you don't don't want a headache, like I said, just keep the one point five version. And uh we'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed the video.